Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and welcome back to episode number 9 of my Pokemon Heart Gold Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Alright, let's jump right into the recap. So last time, we started things off by taking on a dancing tree, which actually turned out to be a Gabite. Then we made our way over to Ecruteague City, where we ran into a dancing team Rocket Grunt, a lot of dancing people last episode, and we destroyed our rival YouTube in a battle. However, and I still don't understand how this happened, Sokka, my water type Pokemon somehow died to the fire type Charmander that only used fire type moves on it. That's definitely one of the strangest deaths I've ever had ever. So today, now that we're in Ecruteague City, we have a lot more to do. But first things first, since we had a few team slots open, I decided to bring Bolin onto the team, and I gave him the Master Ball skin, so now it kind of fits with that whole Voltorb we saw earlier. And since we're missing a water type, I brought Katara back on the team as well, so we could use that Octazooka all over again. And now that I showed you that team, we're actually going to switch it up really quickly, because I just remembered there's actually a Pokemon we could catch over here in Ecruteague City. So let's bring Iroh back onto the team just for a moment, because remember, Iroh has Thunder Wave, so that'll boost the chances of us catching a Pokemon, and I don't know how I missed this last episode, I guess I was just so excited to be here with so much stuff to do, but we could just go up over to this little lake over here and fish, and we'll get a brand new encounter, so let's see, can we even get a bite today? No, not even a nibble. Let's try again, second time's the charm. Yeah, there we go. Landed a Pokemon. Alright, what's gonna jump out of the water at us today? It is a, ooh, Hypno. Alright, now that's kind of a weird Pokemon to catch. This thing always has the weirdest Pokedex entries. I'm looking at this one right now from Pokemon Yellow. Avoid eye contact if you come across one. It will try to put you to sleep by using its pendulum. And here's another weird one. It carries a pendulum-like device. There was once an incident in which it took away a child it hypnotized. Is this really a Pokemon that I want on my team? I don't know. Well, let's try catching it anyway. We'll paralyze it first, because that makes things way easier to catch. And oh, it's got Facade. That's not going to do anything to us. Yeah, six damage. We could take that all day. And you know what? I just want to see if we get lucky super quickly. Let's go for an Ultra Ball. Again, I'm so happy we could buy those at the Goldenrod department store so early on in the game. But no, one shake. We're going to have to weaken this thing somehow. All right, it's kind of hard to weaken this thing since my whole team is a lot higher level than this Hypno. This thing's only at level 10, and most of my team is around level 24. But I think if we go for Revenge, it shouldn't kill it. Ooh, wait, it's gonna go first. I know Revenge does more damage if we take damage during the turn, so please, Iro, don't knock out the Hypno. Don't do it, don't do it. Ooh, wow! That thing is at like 1 HP right now, and it's using up an item. Oh, it had a I Papa Berry. Well, that actually worked out really, really well. I don't think there's anything else on my team that could have gotten it that low. That was very scary, though. So now we should be able to catch this thing extremely easy. There we go. We gotcha. All right, let's check out the Pokedex entry for this game. When it is very hungry, it puts humans it meets to sleep, then feasts on their dreams. Well, let's welcome Zhao the Hypno. Now let's check him out over here. Okay, Mist Ball, Luster Purge, interesting. Facade, and Extra Sensory. I think this might be an interesting Pokemon to use at some point, but for right now, let's bring back Bolin. I'm gonna have to put Iroh away. I have so many cool Pokemon to use right now. Usually in my randomizers, so many Pokemon die, and I don't have a good selection, but Heart Gold, they're giving me Pokemon like crazy. We can get so many Pokemon everywhere. Alright, so now with that all done, let's go back to the Burns Tower so we can awaken the beasts. And I love the little coughing in the corner there whenever we enter the building, it's so cool. So there they are, the legendary beasts, but first, I know there's an area back here that we didn't go to, and there's an item over there, I kinda want it. But let's see, can we sneak past this guy? No, he's gonna get us. Don't worry, we fire breathers know the true power of fire better than anyone. I don't know why the Johto region, and I think it's only the Johto region too, has so many fire breathers everywhere. Especially in the Burns Tower. Maybe this guy burned down the Burn Tower with his fire breathing. No, I know there's a whole reason in the lore why the Burn Tower burned down, but still, it's kind of weird that there's all these fire breathers inside of the Burn Tower. Anyway, let's go ahead and start using Bolin for the first time ever. I think that Master Ball Purple looks really cool in battle. So Bolin actually picked up a few cool toys when we trained him up. Thunderbolt is the main one right there. We have a really powerful electric type attack now. It should probably obliterate this skinny. Yeah, there we go. But also we got Tri Attack and we got Egg Bomb. Egg Bomb for the memes. I guess this Fire Breather really likes cats, though. Skitty and then Pur Ugly right after that. Let's hope we can take out Pur Ugly. I have some bad memories of this Pokemon from, like, Platinum version. It can be pretty tough, but no! 
That was a really good critical hit right there. We didn't start this episode off with a critical hit the first time, but the second attack that we did, boom, got it. And the final Pokemon, Mainetric. So I guess they like cats and dogs. Luckily, I think Bolin is the perfect moveset to take out this guy's whole team. Now we have Mudshot, which is such a weird animation in this game. And boom, another one shot! Bolin, you are just way too good! Get out of here, Fire Breather Ned. Thanks for such a heated battle. You're welcome, Ned. You're welcome. Ugh, Liz is trying to call me again. No thank you, Liz. Not today. Let's get this item a fist plate. Alright, that's kind of cool. I could give it to Zuko, take away that berry, boost the power of Drain Punch a little bit. And actually, I want to use Katara a little bit too. We just brought Katara back. We haven't used her in a long time. I'm going to teach her Surf, actually, since we got that HM last time. I think I'll get rid of Aqua Tail there, even though it's a pretty strong move, that 90 accuracy is pretty bad, and knowing me, I'll miss that every single time. So let's go ahead and use Katara, and now let's go downstairs. Alright, here they are. Raikou, Entei, and... Huh? Why does that Suicune sound like Regigigas? That's so weird! I didn't know the randomizer would affect that! So I guess that's what Suicune got randomized into, a Regigigas! Spoiler warning, I guess. That's so weird though that changing the Pokémon actually changes the cry in that little cutscene right there. Well, now that we've done that, the legendary beasts are going to be roaming around the Johto region, which is actually kind of scary, because if I remember correctly, they're at level 40, except Suicune. I don't think Suicune's roaming, and ooh, Shiftry, that's kind of cool, I wish I caught that. But if I remember correctly, they're at level 40, but usually the way that it's balanced out is they'll run away from you as soon as you get into a battle against them. However, if they're randomized, they might not run away from us. They might actually try to fight us and destroy us. So that would definitely be a problem. And also, so I think they might be randomized into other legendaries, because we know that Suicune is randomized into a Regigigas. So I kind of want to hunt down the other two and see what they're randomized into. But before we do any of that, we should probably go ahead and take on the fourth gym. That's been sitting here for a little while, and we haven't been doing anything with it yet, so let's jump into here and ooh, it is pitch black. We can't see a thing in here, so I remember how this puzzle goes. If we take a wrong step, we just fall into the void and it teleports us back to the beginning. But I think we found the right path already. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokémon? I hope so. If I can't, then I just instantly lose, and that would be bad. Oh, ugh, another glitchy trainer! Medium- do -do 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 Pokey! <laughs> and she's leading off with a Zangoose. I think at this point, glitchy trainers are just a thing that we have to deal with. That's how it is. And Luster Purge coming from the Zangoose? So many things have Luster Purge in this randomizer, but Zangoose just can't use it well. Zangoose is not a special attacker. Alright, get out of here, Zangoose. Let's wash you away with Surf. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this person has four more Pokemon to go. It's like fighting the gym leader right now. Electrike. So we saw Electrike and we saw Mainetric so far. I don't think I'll need the switch. Electrike is kind of like a little baby Pokemon. It's a cute looking little thing. Rest in peace, Mako. Mako the Electrike. <laughs> yeah, down really quickly. And ooh, Chimchar. Let's just drown this thing with Surf. She was asking if I was going to be able to hit her Pokemon. I'm destroying them. <gasps> Ambipom, oh, not this thing again, not this thing again, that was so annoying in that gym fight with the whole ring out move, I hope this one doesn't have it too, it does, oh my goodness, don't kill me, look at that, look how much damage that thing does, I'm so glad we have a lot of levels on this thing, because that last time we fought that thing, it was so annoying, this time, now that we're pretty strong, it's easy, but if we were using something low level, there would have been a problem, ooh, tentacool, I kind of want to see if I can just beat this whole person with Katara. We could easily switch into Toph and take this thing out. I think Toph picked up Psycho Cut too, which is a pretty strong move. Nice upgrade over Confusion. Ooh. Never mind. Never mind. Katara, you had your fun, but we got to switch out now. Yeah, I'm not going to stay in there if it's going to take all day to take down a Tentacool. <laughs> and nice, we're dodging the poison type attacks, but it is Mach Punch. I guess he's using one of his little tentacles to come out and boom, punch me right in the face. But you know what? Toph doesn't care. Knock that thing out. Get out of here, Tentacool. And good job, Katara. I remember the last time I was using you, I was thinking you were so weak, but you took out this medium really well. Even the medium's complimenting you. All right, now, which way do we go? I don't want to take the wrong step. Uh, okay, that's good. This is good. This is good. I think I'll just stick to the directions where I see trainers. If I keep seeing trainers, it has to be the right way. But let's actually switch away from Katara right now, because Katara is at low health. 
I don't want to send her into a battle where she's going to be immediately disadvantaged. So let's go ahead and fight this lady. Not sure of your way. Defeat me if you want a hint. Yes, please, give me a hint. I would love a hint, because... <laughs> I'm definitely gonna fall in and- Oh, you have a name, Medium Grace? Well, I'm glad you have a name. Ooh, Togekiss. Right where I'm leading off with Zahir. Not good. Very, very not good. So let's bring out Bolin. Come on out, Shocky Buddy, and Wing Attack! Yeah, good thing we got out of there. Although, honestly, I think Zahir could've taken a Wing Attack. Let's see if we can one-shot this thing with Thunderbolt. I hope so. I hope so, because Togekiss, that's an annoying Pokémon, especially with his ability Serene Grace. <gasps> nice crit, Bolin! But yeah, that's always annoying because its ability, it doubles the chance of secondary effects of moves happening. So it's always annoying when that thing wants to flinch you to death or use moves like Ancient Power and get the stat boosts. Always the worst, but wow. We are having a really good episode so far, just literally one-shotting everything that comes our way. I wonder if the gym leader Morty is going to be this easy. Alright, give me that hint. Having trouble finding your way around? The path is right before our eyes. It's all black in here. I can't see a thing. What do you mean the path is all before our eyes? See? What a useless hint. Let's go heal up. Alright, which way do we go? I know there's a trainer over to the left. I saw like a glimpse of them. So let's try going, yes, this way looks like it's the right way. And you're actually walking out pretty far over here to me. I spent the spring with my Pokemon. Then summer, autumn, and winter. Then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. Well, I hope you're not playing a Nuzlocke, because then I'll feel ultra bad about knocking out your Pokemon there. Medium Edith with an Electrode. Ooh, Electrode versus Electrode. We have to do it. Let's U-turn out of here. Oh no, it's going for Tri-Attack. Please don't hit me with the status move right there. Always hate this move, because it always gives you the worst status condition possible. Zahir, let's U-turn out of here. And honestly, it's a decent chunk of damage there, too. And let's do it. It's the Battle of the Electrodes. See, look at that Master Ball. Doesn't it look so cool? Well, let's hope that her Electro doesn't have Mud Shot, or maybe it won't get the chance to use it, because Bolin is just doing so well to- <gasps> Really? Really? That didn't kill? <laughs> and you're gonna throw some eggs at me. How rude. How rude. Well, you know what? We have to throw eggs right back at you. That's it. Take the Egg Bomb. <laughs> there are definitely better moves that we could know <laughs> than Egg Bomb, but I think Egg Bomb is hilarious. I don't know where Bolin gets the eggs to throw, but I love having it on Bolin. And ooh, we're learning Morning Sun? Oh, that's actually a good move. I can't delete Egg Bomb. I can't. But Try Attack's actually a good move. You know what? Let's get rid of Try Attack. This is the dumbest decision I'm ever making. <laughs> but we're gonna forget Try Attack so we get Morning Sun and we keep Egg Bomb. Wins and losses. I experienced both. Alright, let's hope I experience a win here, because again, I don't know which way to go. Is that the last Pokemon? Uh, what? Huh? Why do I get teleported right back to the beginning? Where was I supposed to go there? Can I go down? No, I just instantly get teleported. That- what? Alright, well that was weird. I had to leave the gym to reset that and actually find the path, but here we go, another trainer. I thought Morty was next. I shall win. Yeah, we'll see about that. Medium Martha. That's a pretty cool name. Medium Martha. Ooh, with a giant lick of tongue. I love that thing sprite in this game. <laughs> Alright, Zahir, I think you could 1v1 this thing. Headbutt, please don't flinch me. That 30% chance always scares me, but we're actually getting a little lucky and it's not gonna flinch me. So, let's bug bite again. Ooh, Thunder Punch. I wish you turn. It's a great move, but I wish there was an ability or an option to, like, choose if you want to switch out or not. Because U-Turn is by far... Wow, you really have a bunch of different moves you want to use on me today. But by far, it's my strongest bug move right now. But I can't use it if I don't want to switch out, which makes it annoying. Whatever. Ooh, Gastrodon. Alright, here I think I am going to U-Turn out. I kind of wish I had Kenya on the team right now, my stolen Pokemon. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not allowed. That's not allowed. Yeah, we're definitely swapping out of here with U-Turn. Don't do that much damage to me. And I think the only Pokemon that I really could bring in against this thing is UA right now. Yeah, because everything else on my team is either weak to ground or water. And I'm not sure. I believe this thing is the ability Storm Drain, which means if I tried going for a Water-type move on it, it would just suck it up and it wouldn't do any damage. But wait, yes! Yes! That's why we use Night Slash right there for that critical hit chance. That definitely would not have killed right there. And wait a second, Mewtwo! Shadow Mewtwo! Look at that thing! I knew that was coming. I remember there was Shadow Mewtwo in this game. But oh, look at it. 
Haven't seen Shadow Mewtwo since my Let's Go Randomizer, but there it is in all of its heart gold and soul silver glory, and I could not be happier right now to be in here with UA. Look at that crazy thing, Shadow Mewtwo. Well, it's definitely gonna be faster than me and it's gonna go for Reflects. I guess it doesn't have any moves it can hit me with. Love using dark type Pokemon against psychic Pokemon. Let's see, ooh, we're gonna be able to two hit KO the Mewtwo. I hope, I hope I get lucky enough to catch one of these in this game. I remember Anakin from Let's Go, ah, oh, there's the flinch. But I remember Anakin from Let's Go and I would love to have another Shadow. Stop flinching me Mewtwo. I would love to have another Shadow Mewtwo, but stop flinching me because I just want to knock you out and go fight the gym leader. Alright, there we go. Payback. <gasps> Come on. It's gotta live like that? Really? Really? Watch me get flinched again. This battle is never going to end. There we go. You ain't end this battle. Get that Shadow Mewtwo out of here. Goodbye. Oh, that thing looks so cool. That looks so, so, so cool. I, I, I lost. Yeah, I know, I'd be surprised too if I had a Shadow Mewtwo. Alright, now which way do we go? Oh, I guess not that way. This really is one of the laziest but most effective gym puzzles in all of- Oh, there he is. In all of Pokemon, though, because it's literally just a pitch black room. But it's annoying because you never know where to go. If you take the wrong step, you just fall right back to the beginning. But there we go, Gym Leader Morty. And should I go in with this team? I think so. I think so. I was thinking again about bringing Kenya back on the team, so again, I have that Fire, Water, Grass core, but I honestly think we'll be good going into this gym with this team. Let's just go ahead and actually give these Pokemon some items. I want to see, I think I grew some berries. Yes, I grew some Oran berries, so I think I'll basically give everybody that doesn't have an item already an Oran berry, because those things always come in clutch. 10 extra HP can always help, but maybe I'll give Katara the Rindo berry. Kind of get rid of that grass weakness for one turn. And we should be good. I'll lead off with Zahir, my pivot, so I can you turn out if it's it's a bad matchup, and let's do it. Let's get our fourth gym badge. It's good of you to have come. Here in Ecruteek, Pokemon have long been revered. It's said that a rainbow-hued Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I've secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. I see a shadow of the person who will make that Pokemon appear. I believe that person is me. You're going to help me reach that level. And here we go, we just jump right into the battle just like that! Gym battle number 4 against Gym Leader Morty. Let's see if we get another Gym Leader without any deaths at all, and if he's leading off with a Sentret, I think we have a really good shot of making that happen today. So there we go, Zahir, you're gonna 1v1 this thing and take it down. Let's go for the Bug Bite, uh, but Hyper Fang. Is that the move that does half of my health? No. No, that's Super Fang. This one just does straight up damage. Much better. And wait a second, we're almost one-shotting this thing with the Bug Bite. Let's actually go for Metal Claw here right now, and see if I can get lucky enough to get that attack boost. It's not gonna happen, but it would be nice. It would definitely be nice. So let's go for Metal Claw. That'll definitely take it out. Yeah, get that Sentret out of here, and no, we're not getting the attack boost. That's a shame, but we are getting to level 25. Give me a new move. Give me Mega Horn. No, not happening? Okay. Cherum. Why are you bringing out a Cherum right now? You do know Cherum is bad against bug types, right? Well, I don't know, I'm kind of questioning this. Let's go for U-turn. Oh, it's got Blizzard, but we're dodging it. Cool, cool. Yeah, Blizzard, I don't know if that would have killed me. It's a strong move, but it's not super effective against me. Blizzard Cherum, that's definitely a weird one though. All right, Zuko, get in here, and I'm wondering, should I set up right now with Howl, boost my attack up a little bit, because I don't think this Cherim is going to threaten me, but I generally have to do a lot of switching in these battles, so I think I'll just go ahead and kill it. Yeah, yeah, it's a good thing I decided to go for the attack there, because Yawn, that's going to make me fall asleep if I stay in, so I would have been extra salty right there. I'm glad I just went for the kill. Although, if we were able to pull off that attack boost right there, that would have been pretty cool. And yeah, Seedra's coming out next, level 28 Seedra. Definitely need to swap out. Hmm, what are my options here? I think UA is the best switch in. I want to bring out Bolin for obvious reasons. You know, Thunderbolt will be good against this thing, but I don't want to take a hit. Electrode isn't really that bulky, so we'll just make the safer switch, I think, into UA. I mean, UA honestly just took down a Shadow Mewtwo, so I shouldn't be scared. Oh, wait, you're going for Dive? All right, that shouldn't be a problem. I think we'll be okay with that. Let's go for payback. Uh, we'll do double damage now since that thing is definitely gonna be faster than me. And yeah, we don't take any damage at all from this Seedra. I'm so glad it's not a Kingdra though. Kingdra would be a lot worse than this thing. Ooh, but in return, we're not doing much to it. So what do we think is gonna happen here? Is it gonna go for that dive again? Probably, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna go for dive again. 
So I guess we just gotta keep taking it. I mean, it did 19 damage to me last time, so we really don't have to worry. We're still in the green after two hits. But I don't know how I'm liking taking this damage right now. UA is generally like my tank that I could swap in on any situation. Wait, what's this item? Oh, I guess it's the Citrus Berry. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, UA is generally my tank that I could switch in on any situation, so I don't like taking all this damage so early in the battle. Ugh, even Aqua Tail is hurting now, too. I'm kind of glad it wasn't going for Aqua Tail over and over and over again. <gasps> Ugh, it's in the red. It's in the red like that. That's annoying. Because now, he's definitely gonna heal this thing up. Yup, here comes a Hyper Potion. Learned my lesson after the last time when I swapped right when that Gym Leader was going for the potion. And we're not even getting a critical hit there. Alright, it looks like payback it is again. Ugh, dive. Well, again, we know as long as we don't get hit by a crit here, we're fine. So please don't hit me with a critical hit. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. UA hit this Seedra with the payback. And it's almost dead. Wait a second. It is Poison Points. That's annoying. You have to do that now? Alright, no, this is getting scary, because we're going to take poison damage and burn me down to 3 HP, oh my god. Ugh, our best potion right now is this lemonade, which gives me 80 HP back. I think we'll do it. I think we'll go for the lemonade on UA. Again, we only get one item, so it really matters what we use the item on. I'm also a little concerned about doing that because we're poisoned. Alrighty, I guess it was trying to style on me, go for Ice Fang, that's gonna do nothing. Now there's a little bit of poison damage, but yeah, it's just gonna live. That's so annoying. And look, we're already down to 61 HP. So now it's gonna go for something again. How funny would it be if it went for Dive right here? Yes! It's gonna die underwater! Perfect! Oh, that's so good. I didn't want to take more Aqua Tail damage. <laughs> oh, that's so good! And now we're at level 26. Alright, so what did he have? So what does he have left? Three more Pokemon? I think so. Yeah, three more Pokemon. Luxray is gonna be one of them, but I think we should be safe. I'm gonna hit it with Mudshot here. I'm gonna hit it with Mudshot so we at least get one hit off in this thing, because once I switch UA out here, I really can't bring UA back in because of the poisoning. So let's just get some clean damage in with this, even slow it down a little bit with the Mudshot. There we go. All right, UA, you did your best now. Let's hope we don't need you anymore in this battle, because I really can't swap you back in. And now let's bring out Bolin. If this guy wants to go for an electric move, we're good. Bolin should be able to resist it and take it well. Yeah, yeah. I think we won't take that much from Spark, but who knows? Maybe I'll get surprised a little bit. 12 damage. Ooh, we're getting paralyzed! That's definitely not something you see happening in the newer Pokemon games. Nowadays, electric Pokemon are immune to being paralyzed. So that's a little annoying. I guess now we have to go for Mudshot again. Well, I guess that was the original plan, but now we're gonna be a lot slower. Ugh, oh, fully paralyzed. If we lose a Pokemon now, it's gonna be because of this. Well, at least we have Morning Sun, so this way we can kind of like cheese the whole item limit by healing up with this. Oh, wow. Just don't fully... Come on! Fully paralyzed twice in a row, and that one really mattered because I was trying to heal myself with Morning Sun. Alright, bad situation. Bad, bad situation. I guess now we have to bring out Toph. Again, if I leave Bolin in, Bolin is obviously dead. And if he's not dead, he's probably gonna get fully paralyzed a third time. Oh, nice. Facade. Perfect. Perfect. That's gonna do nothing. I am worried about a discharge coming from this Luxray, though. Because not only is it strong, but it also has a 30% chance to paralyze me, and I really don't want to go through that again. So let's just hope this Psycho Cut cleans up, but no, it doesn't. We gotta take the discharge. That's what I'm worried about. And... Okay. No paralysis, and the Orin Berry is coming in here just like we need it. So let's knock this thing out with Psycho Cut. See, I knew those Orin Berries would come in handy, because now at least we're back in the green. But we have two more Pokemon to go, we don't have any more items to use, and our team is not looking good. <gasps> no! 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 Crowdon! Oh, we're definitely losing somebody. We are definitely going to lose somebody here. Alright, let's see the situation. A level 28 Groudon. We don't have any items we could use. Bolin can't swap in. Yue, who would usually be my answer to something crazy like this, can't swap in. Zuko will take super effective ground type moves. Zahir resists ground but will probably die to something else. And Katara will be eventually my answer. But we have five turns of the sun, which reduces the damage of water type moves. And Toph. Toph can't take a ground type move. So let's bring out Zahir right now. Oh, we are definitely gonna lose some Pokemon right now. It's guaranteed. Yeah, it's going for Dig. Okay, that's actually a good scenario for us because that wastes a turn. That wastes a turn of the sun. Okay, I'm thinking our best bet here is to go for Payback and hit him with some damage. We're gonna resist and survive the Dig, I think, pretty easily. 
Okay, not so easily. Definitely not so easily. Orenberry's gonna come in clutch again, though. I'm not sure if that's gonna let us live another dig if it wants to go for it twice. We'll have to see. And Zahir, anything you do is appreciated here. Yeah, you're not gonna do that much to a Groudon, but I do appreciate what you do. Maybe we could get a Bug Bite off on this thing? No, it's gonna go for Dig again. Alright, I like that, because it's killing turns. And you know what? Let's actually U-turn out. Maybe we'll survive. I think we can survive this. I hope we can. I hope we can. 4 HP, good. Good, we're not sacking off anybody here if we can avoid it. If we can get through this crowd on without anybody dying, nice critical hit, Zahir! Very nice critical hit. If we can get through this without anybody dying, we are a legend. We are a legend. Alright, so let's bring out Katara. Sunlight is still going. We still have another turn of that, so Water-type moves are not gonna be that great. Honestly, we kind of can take advantage of the sunny day by using Weather Ball here. So we'll have a Fire-type move, and I think... It'll basically have 150 base power, because Weather Ball gets doubled under a weather condition, plus the Sun Boost Fire-type move, so I think this might be a good play, actually. And Water-type moves are going to be a little weakened anyway because of the Sun, so let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Not bad, and okay, it has Mud Shots, so that's what it's going to try to do instead of Dig. I don't know why it wasn't doing that before, honestly. Speed is going to fall, and honestly, we're not taking as much damage from that as I thought we would. I think I see how we're going to beat this thing. Let's go for Water... Oh, really? Really, buddy? You're gonna dig again? And wow, that sun is just- Oh, wait a second. I was thinking it's like a new generation. No, in these games, the weather never goes away. So we don't have anything to look forward to. That sun is gonna be there forever. Oopsie. I'm thinking to myself, why is it still sunny out? Usually that's supposed to go away after five turns. All right, Katara, let's just hope you can take this dig then. If you can take this dig and we fire off the weather ball, we can kill this thing. No! Katara, you were so close. You were so close to defeating the Groudon. Well, Katara, I just want you to know I'm proud of you. Okay, with that being said, though, now we have a problem. The only other Pokemon on my team right now that outspeeds this Groudon is... Bo oh, wait, no. We don't even outspeed it because we're paralyzed. I don't think anything else on my team outspeeds this Groudon. And as we already took a look and went through, everything else dies against Groudon. So, yeah, this battle might be over right now. Let's see if we can get a Lava Plume off, but yeah, it's gonna go for Dig, and I know Dig is just gonna one-shot me. It's gonna one-shot me, there's no way around it. Alright, we're definitely in a mess. If I stay in here and I take that Dig, we are dead on Zuko. Nobody else on my team can swap into that. Our health is way too low, and it's super effective against most of them anyway. Out of items, there's nothing we can do. I think this Groudon is going to defeat us. I don't want my Fire Chicken to die, so we gotta start sacrificing some Pokemon. Ugh, if we didn't get paralyzed on you, Bolin, things would have been very, very different. But there it is. Bolin, going down. I think the only way we could even potentially, and this is a big potential, get through this Groudon is by breaking my item rule right here. I think we have to cheat. One item is simply not going to be enough to get through this Groudon. It's too strong, too high leveled, too legendary for us. I think I'm gonna have to do it. There it is. I just used a second item. Oh, that's terrible. Well, if we're gonna use two, we might as well go all the way and heal UA up completely, and even then, I'm still worried about this getting us through the battle. Rest in peace, out here. I'm still worried about this getting us through the battle, because that Groudon is too fast and too strong. Plus, UA is poisoned, so we're still gonna take damage every single turn, no matter what the Groudon decides to do. So I think what I'm gonna try to do here, it's probably gonna dig the first turn anyway. I'll go for Mudshot, yeah, to try and slow it down. We're gonna miss, because it's underground now. Alright, Mudshot. Because again, I don't even think Night Slash or Payback is gonna manage to kill it off. Ooh, wow, look at that damage. Let's slow it down, so this way we can handle it a little bit better. Good. Groudon's slower now, the sunlight is still strong, and UA is gonna take 11 more damage from the poisoning. Now let's see if we can finish this thing off with a Night Slash. I hope so. I hope so. We had the cheats to even get in this situation. See? See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Even with that going on, we couldn't finish it off. But that's the way it is, and since I had to cheat and heal up UA to even have a chance against this Groudon, I think it's only fair that we amend the issue right here and let it die. So UA, rest in peace my friends. Thank you for everything, you were truly like my favorite Pokemon on this whole entire team. 
Ugh. That's rough. That's really, really rough. So now it's up to either Zuko or Toph to finish up this battle. We slowed down the Groudon a little bit. So let's bring out Zuko, my slow chicken. Please, buddy, just drain punch and take this thing out. This monster that slaughtered my team. If only things went better with Katara. If only things went a little bit better there, we would have been able to probably get through this whole Groudon fight without anybody dying at all. But you see how things, just the smallest little thing, can impact the whole entire battle. And now the final Pokemon, Carnivine. At least that's something we're good against. And we have the Sun Boost too, so I don't think Carnivine's gonna be much of a threat here. But we'll see. Things surprise me. Nope. We are one-shotting the Carnivine, and that's it. Our fourth gym badge. But wow. That was a bloodbath. How is it possible? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't think our potentials are so different, but you seem to have something more than that. So be it. This badge is yours. And we got the Fog Badge from Morty. It only took us cheating to actually get it. Wow. Wow, that is awful. That is really, really awful. That Groudon had us in a checkmate situation right there. Wow, I am so disappointed with how that battle went right there. We were not ready for that Groudon. So now, biggest funeral yet! Four Pokémon down! Zaheer, oh, terrible. Thank you for your service of providing amazing U-turns. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. We're gonna evolve you at the end of the episode and see what we're gonna turn into. UA, the crazy egg hatch. Now I'm kind of worried. I don't know what we're gonna use to take care of those legendary Pokemon. You took down that Shadow Mewtwo, you took down countless other amazing Pokemon, and you did amazing work against that Groudon. Without your Mudshot right there, our chicken boy Zuko would be dead right now. My Master Ball Bolin, well, you got one episode to shine a little bit, and Katara, just as quick as he came back, now you're gone. At least I have a whole box full of Pokemon to use now. So I think we'll bring back Iro. We gotta bring back our little stolen buddy Kenya, because we need somebody at a decent level. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll use Zhao. And we have three more Pokemon we could grab right now, but I kinda wanna leave that last slot open and see what we encounter in the next area. And now that we have our fourth gym edge that we kind of had to cheat our way to get, we actually have two different paths that we can take. We could go to the left and start heading toward Olivine City, or we could go to the right over here and head toward Mahogany Town, which has the Lake of Rage up north, and the cool part about going there is we'll encounter a shiny Pokemon. Usually it's Gyarados, but it's randomized, so we'll be able to encounter a randomized shiny. And I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty exciting to me, so I want to go over this way, but we do have a problem. We're gonna need to be able to surf to go over and get there. And wait, what's this item over here? TM18 Rain Dance. If only I had that against the Groudon. But we're going to need to go ahead and surf, and what's going on over here? Oh, Hiker, hello? Oh boy! Sorry that I bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Please don't cry. Here, take this! HM4 Strength, okay. Alright buddy, just running out of a little mountain and give me the HM? I'll forgive you, I'll forgive you. But the problem is, there's this big body of water over here, and I don't have a single Pokemon right now that can learn Surf. Now, normally I would allow myself a little exception here, and bring back one of my dead Water-type Pokemon so they could Surf on the water for me, but I want to see if we could actually get lucky enough to catch a Water-type Pokemon or just something that can learn Surf in general. So let's once again cast our Rod into the water. I'm really becoming an expert angler in this episode. Give me a Water-type Pokemon! Apom is not a Water-type Pokemon, and it also doesn't belong underneath the water. And third, I should have let off with Iroh. Oh, I'm a mess today. I am a mess. Ooh, I wonder how Apom's evolution is going to work in this randomizer. Because normally, Apom evolves into Ambipom when it levels up with the move Double Hit, but moves are randomized, so who knows when, if at all, it'll get Double Hit. Maybe it'll just evolve at level 32, because I believe that's when it normally learns Double Hit. We'll just have to see. And let me see. Can I get lucky enough to catch this thing without weakening it? I hope so. Please, yay! Now this would have been an amazing Pokemon's name, Momo, but we already used that name. So you know what, we might as well name it after the Flying Bison, Appa. <laughs> that totally, totally fits. 
And obviously, Apom cannot learn Surf, but we can, however, go into this little area. I think this is Mount Mortar or something, and we can catch another new Pokemon in there. Again, the Johto region just gives you so many Pokemon to encounter, it's absolutely insane. Ooh, look at the little Marrow in the background. Maybe that's a sign that I'll get a water type in here. Please, please give me a water type. I've never wanted a water type Pokemon as badly as I want one right now. Reward me, game, please, or just don't give me any Pokemon at all. Okay. There we go. What's it gonna be? Who are we gonna find in here? Duskull. That is, again, not a Water-type Pokemon. Okay, 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 yes! If it finds bad children who won't listen to their parents, it will spirit them away. Or so it's said. Why are these Pokedex entries so creepy? Alright, I have a perfect name for this one. Let's welcome Amon to the team. That's pretty cool. I definitely want to use Duskull, especially because it'll evolve at some point and we'll get to see a cool randomized Ghost-type evolution. Alright, so, we didn't catch a Water-type Pokemon. I'm gonna bring back a Water-type that knows Surf. Uh, let's just bring back Katara real quick. I'm not even gonna use Katara at all during battle, so I won't put her on the layout, but she's just gonna be on my team for Surf. I think that's fair. I want to be able to keep making progress and I want to go this way. I don't want to go to Olivine City because finding a shiny Pokemon, that's really exciting. <gasps> Lyra again. We meet again. And let's keep going. I love how fast surfing is in this game. Hmm, should we fight that trainer? Should we? I think so. Ooh, Lapras. That would have been a cool encounter. There's the water type too. When I'm not looking for it, that's when it appears and it's higher level than me. Let's just try to run away real quick. Thank you. All right, fishermen, let's battle you. This is probably a mistake because I know a lot of these fishermen tend to have a lot of Pokemon normally. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokemon that I caught. Yeah, I know in every single game, there's one of those guys that has like a team of six Magikarp. Oh wait, you only have one Pokemon? A Ninjask. Did you catch that while fishing? Well, I know every one of those Pokemon games has a guy with like six Magikarp, but I guess that is not the six Magikarp guy because he only has one Pokemon. And nice, Lucario and its wings of steel are going to be able to knock this thing out in two hits. <laughs> I'm always surprised to see these Pokemon that don't have wings or just using moves that they don't have the body parts for. It's always weird. But nice, getting Iroh to level 20. Thank you, Fisherman Tully. What? That's not right. Hey, you're trying to be the ultimate trainer too? That makes us comrades! If I find any more items by the water, I'll give you some. Just give me your phone number. Yes, I'll give this guy my phone number, because this is the guy that I believe that gives you the water stone sometimes when he calls you up. So he's definitely a good person to know, and ooh, do I want to fight both of you guys? I don't think so. Let's dodge. Who should I fight? I'll fight you. Since you spin around, you're a lot harder to avoid. If I ever have to come back down this route, I'll probably run into this guy. What's the other side of Mount Mortar like? Do you know? If you could beat me, I'll let you know. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. I just ran in there for two seconds to try to find a water type poke again with the glitchy names. <laughs> Oh no, you have your own UA. You're terrible. You're terrible. How about if I beat you, I get to revive UA? Ugh, and UA using Mudshot again. It's just like mine. It's so sad. It's so sad. Well, <laughs> I'm glad that I never fought a Lucario with UA. Ugh, that's sad. It's like seeing UA die twice this episode. And Poliwag. Is this guy me? Because I had a Poliwhirl that died, not exactly a Poliwag. Ooh, an Octazooka. I think this guy is me. Because you know, I love Octazooka. Now, if he's a third Pokemon that I use too, then he's definitely me in disguise. Let's see. What's his third Pokemon? Ivysaur! Well, one of my Pokemon did evolve into a Bulbasaur, so... Eh, he's like my second cousin or something. And he has Pokey in his name. Yeah, maybe second cousin. And I think that's it. I think now we can just make our way over to Mahogany Town. Well, guys, we made it kind of bittersweet because we had so much death coming here, but we made it and that's what counts. If we try going this way, this guy's gonna stop us. I love this part. Hiya, kid. I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy Rage Candy Bar. Right now, it can be yours for just 300 pokey. Want one? Yes, please. Give me a Rage Candy Bar. And they actually made it. In most other Pokemon games, it's actually an item you could use to like heal up your Pokemon. But in this game, they made it a key item so you simply couldn't give it to your Pokemon and trade it back to Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum where this item didn't exist. It's crazy what they would do in some of these older games. Well, like promised, let's see what Zaheer was going to evolve into. What? Zaheer is evolving? And it was... Mothim? Mothim. Our little pineco buddy was going to evolve into a big moth. 
I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it better as the pine cones. And with that, my friends, I think we reached a perfect point to end today's episode. Four deaths from that dumb Groudon. That's so annoying. If only we just got a little luckier with Bolin, or if Katara could have survived one of those ground type attacks, that battle would have went totally differently. But it is what it is, and we're just gonna try to recover from here. So my friends, thanks for watching the video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, do it for our fallen soldiers today, especially UA, I'm gonna miss UA so so much, but next time, we're going to Shiny City. So tune in, cause I can't wait to see what our randomized Shiny is going to be. I'll see you in the next one.